Well, the House is marking up legislation today requiring sexual harassment awareness training for all House members and their employees. It comes after a wave of sexual misconduct allegations surfaced against several lawmakers, including Minnesota Senator Al Franken, who announced earlier this month that he would be resigning after multiple senators urged him to finally step down. But now, at last, four senators reportedly say he should not resign. But instead, let the Ethics Committee do its investigation. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin is one of them. We have a process within the Congress, the Senate, and the House, which is called the Ethics Probe. And he's willing to. Al said, please, take me through this. I'll live by whatever the outcome and recommendation. If they say I'm a predator and I should leave, I'll leave. But Al, I think everyone that listened to Al's speech on the floor, which is first time for him to speak out openly, maybe had second thoughts. Politico reporting Republican Senator James Langford wants to see Franken go through the ethics process and that Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont told Franken privately he regrets urging Franken to step down. An interesting turn in all of this. Kevin? I love it. I think that, you know, here again, the Democrats promised something. They want to have the moral high ground. And part of it, part of it was they, it was a trick to go after Donald Trump because you notice there was, they re resurfaced the sexual allegations against Donald Trump because they thought that with Franken stepping down and, and I so wish I had a split out. screen of oh, Marie so and Katie Marie's right face. now because Marie is sighing and Katie is <laughs> laughing. Yeah. Well, but the, I, I well, do, no, I, I love how you inject partisan politics into even a discussion about something we should all agree partisan is Partisan politics. No, I, I love I love how that's the first place you go. It's oh, like yeah. your knee-jerk reaction. Well, you it, can't just talk I, about I got, the issue. I got a lot of practice because I've watched leftists over the last few decades <laughs> do the same thing. Yeah, so that's exactly leftist. why. Leftists. Look, okay. what I, the, the, the point, the point I was making is very simple. They wanted to try to get Trump on it. They use uh, Franken as bait. And the next thing you know, well, hey, he's not going to go away. I'm shocked that Al Franken's right, not going to go away. Well, I think that they're worried about that Senate seat going to a Republican, quite frankly, even though it would look really bad now that a female lieutenant governor has yeah. been appointed to replace Al Franken for him to rescind his resignation, which, by the way, this may have been the plan from the beginning, considering when he gave that speech on the Senate floor, he didn't give an exit date. He just gave an open-ended question, but it does beg the question, well, why, why did Democrats come out and try to take the moral high ground on, on this issue if now they're saying they're going to go through this process, which, by the way, is not a good process that needs to be... But can we I talk about the positive agree. here? Perhaps it is that they're, <laughs> going to make, they're going to make this training mandatory now. Yes. Gosh. Uh, well, and, and for me... Are, is, are, is train, on, train on minority uh, issues For me, as a, de as a Democrat, I actually think it's less about electoral politics. I think... There's a little bit of a double standard here. You have all these congressmen who've now admitted or been accused of or pay, made payoffs, Representative Farenhold, one in Nevada, that I now agree. say they're not going to run for re-election. Well, I think they should actually step down. Like Al Franken, Al Franken you know, went up to the plate and said, OK, I'm going to leave the Senate. I think it's hard for Democrats to look across the board at other Democrats, by the way, and Republicans. But I actually agree with Marie. Congress. Hold on, when they, there's an agreement on the couch. There's agreement there's between agreement. me and Marie. Holy All cow, right. we're 55 minutes <laughs> there we in the go. show. There's agreement on the couch. The but minutes. Katie, could I just ask you, going back to my, my, my point a couple minutes ago, but do, do you think the right things are happening to see change mm. in Washington on this you know, Congress? You think? <sighs> look. I'm, I think the training will be helpful. As I've talked to other people, yeah. they say, look, I went through training 30 years ago. Why is it that we have to tell these people on Capitol Hill who make the rules, who pass sexual right. harassment legislation, why do we have to re-educate them about what to do and what not to do? I think unless the culture in Washington, yeah. D.C., and I hate to be a cynic, but unless the culture in Washington, D.C. changes, the drinking culture, the working late hours, the power spending, dynamic, right, the power dynamic yeah. you know, spending more time with your, your colleagues and your family, Unless that changes, yeah. nothing's going to change. Okay, right. All right. Thank you for that.